I keep thinking that I've finished with the story of Joseph. Well, I think this time I will have finished. This morning the Lord reminded me of that maybe last reference to Joseph. You actually find it in the book of Hebrews chapter 11. I love that chapter, I'm sure many of us do. It's about these witnesses, these tremendous heroes of the faith, men and women of the past who are bearing witness to us. They're telling us, witnesses tell us, and they're telling us God is faithful, and uh, they're cheering us on, as it were, in the race that's set before us. You remember the passage, I'm sure. And uh, the writer gives one illustration after another of these people who are witnessing to us about God's faithfulness. And I, as a young pastor many years ago, I think probably back in my 20s, uh, I was taking a series uh, through Hebrews chapter 11. I thought, oh, I'll do a, a series. And, uh, you know, I didn't plan ahead greatly. I just thought, hey, a number of characters, we'll do one after another. And, and came to Joseph. I, I was really excited because I loved the story of Joseph. And, and when I came to the passage in Hebrews 11, all it says is, he gave instructions about his bones. I thought, what a crazy verse. I mean, you could say so much about Joseph. We've tried to in these last few messages. But, hey, come on. You know, he had such a story. He paid such a price. And all it says is he gave instruction about his bones. I remember struggling through that week. And those of you who are pastors know what it's like. Sunday gets nearer and nearer. And have I got a message? And I was really struggling that week. I thought, shall I abandon the series? Or shall I say something else about Joseph? And I felt I'm captivated by the text. I want to expound it. And I felt God really spoke to me so that I did, in the end, have a word. And really, I felt it was about Joseph. Although he was aware his life was over, he still wanted to be involved in God's ongoing purpose. I'm sure as a, a great hero of Egypt who'd saved them through the famine, he could have had his pyramid. I'll have my pyramid over there. You know, he would have been a hugely honored guy. And he said, no, no, take my bones with you. And what he was saying to the nation of Israel was, your history doesn't end here. We have, we're not finished here. Uh, God's plan goes on. God had a plan for them. They would go back and on to Cain, and there was a tremendous future, the coming of the Christ, the great plan of God. And what thrilled me was that Joseph was not actually totally preoccupied with his own life. He could have had his pyramid. You know, people have their statues, and some of them look a little dodgy at the moment. Statues that were celebrated, mm, maybe feet of, feet of clay, maybe come down one day. No, Joseph wanted his bones, if necessary, to be involved in the onward going plan of God. And it's amazing to me that he thought like that. I do pray that God will help us not to say, hey, what a life I've lived, what a, a testimony. Um, I should be applauded. I should uh, have this pyramid. No, God's plans keep going on. And I remember also how Abraham, Abraham late in his life, was told to offer up Isaac and he was up for it uh, uh, next day says he rose early it's amazing the story of Abraham he rose early to be obedient again with another phenomenal step of faith as an elderly guy you must think well now his walk of faith must be over by now oh no no he rose early to go and do what God told him to do and out from that came that amazing revelation the Lord provides steps of faith still get great revelations of God. When we obey him, when we keep on obeying him, he's always happy to give us fresh revelations of his faithfulness, his majesty, his power to do miracles. Let's not shot, stop with uh, applauding ourselves. Let's say, God, your great plan is much bigger than any individual life. I want to go on with what you're doing. God bless you as you commit yourself to it.